The Windows Installer, also known as MSI, is an application installation and configuration service that ships with Windows Server 2008, Windows Vista, Windows Server 2003, Windows XP, and Windows 2000. The Windows Installer provides a standard method for deploying, customizing, installing, and updating applications. Beginning with Windows 2000, installation services became a base service of the operating system. The Windows Installer allows you to manage the state of software applications and provides you with consistent and reliable methods to customize installations, update and upgrade applications, and resolve configuration problems. A Windows Installer installation program is distributed as an MSI package which consists of a Windows Installer database and associated data files. The MSI databases contain over 80 tables that describe the changes to be performed on a user system. The greatest difference between Windows Installer programs and traditional installation programs, like those created with InstallScript, is that there is no script. The Windows Installer works by performing both standard and custom actions that are organized into sequences and we'll get into what sequences are later on. A main reason for using Windows Installer is that it is required for the installation and uninstallation of a software product that we'll be applying for the Windows logo. In addition, the Windows Installer was written to solve many of the common problems that plague traditional installation programs. Here are some of those problems. Unsuccessful installations. An unsuccessful or partial installation can leave the operating system in an unstable state. Traditional installations provide no way to roll back the changes made to a system. Another problem is application administration. Traditional installations provide no way for an administrator to distribute software to a large number of machines over a network. Another problem is broken applications. Traditional installers do not provide a way to fix an application that was broken. There are also file versioning problems. With traditional installation programs, there was no way to prevent file version problems where an older version of a file was copied over a newer version. And uh, a final problem was unsuccessful uninstallations. Traditional uninstallation of a product could oftentimes result an unsuccessful or partial uninstallation of the product. This is particularly the case with shared files where often one application removed files that were needed by another application. Now uh, we'll talk about the features of the Windows Installer and how it addresses these problems by providing many things. The first thing it provides is advertising. This is essentially installation on demand. In other words, a feature can be advertised to the user to show its availability, but does not have to be installed until he is ready to use it. In addition, rarely used features can be uninstalled and removed from the application's footprint. There are two types of advertisement, assignment and publishing. Assignment is a type of advertisement where an application appears to be installed when it is actually installed on demand. Using assignment, applications that may never be run will not take up system resources until they are actually needed. Publishing is a type of advertisement that does not display the application to a user. Published applications can be installed by opening a file associated with the application. For example, you double click on a file with a particular extension and the application is installed, ran, and the file is opened. Another feature is self-repairing applications. These are applications that are able to reinstall necessary files that have been deleted or corrupted and return the application to its normal state. Another feature is merge modules. These are simplified MSI packages that contain Windows installer components and setup logic to be included in any number of MSI packages. Merge modules can't be installed by themselves, but can be merged with an already existing MSI package. 
Another feature is rollback. This allows changes made to a user system to be rolled back after an aborted installation, thereby putting the system back in its original state. Another feature is Windows Security. This is where installation programs that use the Windows installer can be run with elevated privileges. And a final feature is installation location. This allows an administrator to specify the location of an application's files. Instead of installing all files on a target machine, some or all of an application's files can be run from a local drive, a network drive, or a CD-ROM drive. We now uh, need to look at some fundamental things about InstallShield installations and then we'll look at the Windows logo requirements.